Hey guys, John Grimsmo here, and today we're gonna to talk about a new way that we clean parts here at Grimsmo Knives. All right, check this thing out. This is a MyJet, I don't know what it's called. I looked at their website, I don't know what it's called, but it's a MyJet parts cleaner kind of thingy. L let me show you how this works. So this thing has an air fan inside of it and a filtration unit outside and a bucket on the bottom. So you attach, you give it air, and then it comes with a cooling gun or an air gun. We got this nice Sylvent gun attached to it. The second you trigger the trigger, there's no electricity involved at all. The second you hit the trigger, the fan turns on. All right, all right. So John, you may ask, uh, why did you get that? Um, I've known about this company for about two or three, probably over three years. I would see them at the IMTS trade show. They'd have the demos by a lot of the machines there. Um, what it does is like when you're at your machine and you're pulling off parts that are loaded with coolant, uh, they're dripping wet with this liquid that looks like milk. Um, these machines are amazing because they're fully enclosed. So as you open the door, you blow your parts off, you can blow them into the machine. And that's what we've done with the Mori all the time. What that means is you're loading your parts when the machine is off. You can't easily blow the parts off and clean them off while the machine's running because you need the open door to blow the parts into the machine. And that's not super fun. And we don't want to blow parts and garbage and chips and coolant on our nice tabletops or onto the ground or just out in the air. So that's why MyJet had kind of invented something like this. So you take your parts, this is hard with holding the camera with one hand, but uh, you basically hold your, your oily, dripping, chippy, gross parts over here. With the other hand, you hit the air nozzle and it sucks all the coolant, all the chips, all the gross, all the oil into the unit, collects it in the bottom, puts out relatively clean air and keeps your workbenches clean. So that's, that's the sales pitch from them. And uh, I was suaded. I bought this about a month or two ago. It came, I'm using it here by the Kern to kind of experiment. Um, let me show you why. So, okay, so we got the Aroa right there with our tombstones loaded up. Bum, bum, bum. So this one right here, number nine, um, what I'm currently doing to unload the Rask tombstone, which right now is just number nine, I lift it, I bring it over here, I bring it to the bench like this. Um, let me flip around. Okay, so I got my blade grinding side right here. Every time I pull off this clamp, yeah, there we go. You can see, see the chips that are there, a couple that are stuck to here. I mean, you do this a couple times a day, every day for a week, and those chips just end up everywhere. So what I'm doing now is I kind of hold this, and with my other hand, It works really, really well. And then for these little stragglers that are still here, I just kind of get them with my finger and put them in there. It gives me a place to put them, which is nice. Okay, so my current setup, and I'm just playing with this thing. It's kind of awkward because I've got my parts in my hand. I reach over the table. It's, I kind of like it a little bit. And I just go like that, and then my clamp is now clean. I'm on the fence. I, I kind of love it. I'm working on it. Um, I think if one of these were mounted, like let's say by the Swiss, because the parts we're making here are very, very, very tiny. But like here, we got a tray full of nice little screws that all have oil pocketed up in the Torx pattern and on the screws and everything. Um, Right now we're just kind of blowing it into there or into this bucket that we have, our little drip bucket with a bunch of paper towels in it. Um, or when the machine doors open, you can blow it back into the machine. So you got the screw in one hand, you got the air gun in the other hand, and you're, you're, you're blowing the oil back away. If we had a MyJet here, we'd probably use it a lot. Um, so maybe, maybe I'll bring that over here and let Pierre use that and see how he likes it and stuff. Same for the Nakamura. We got oily parts coming out of the parts catcher here. Not oily, coolanty. Um, it's off for the night now, but 
it was just running up until a few minutes ago. So what I really, really want, and I'm probably gonna end up building this, for over here, let me give you a bit of a long distance perspective here. So I want to build a work table that has this in the back and it has some walls and a little shroud and like a Delrin half inch uh, tabletop that I can load all my stuff here and I can blow this way and there's a little hole in the back that sucks into that thing or some sort of vacuum cleaner thing. So I can just, everything on the table, I can just blow it that way and either the fan is always on like it's an electric thing or use an air powered thing like this that is always sucking your garbage away. That's kind of the dream that I want and I will see how far I get on that. But uh, this is a great first step for me to do that. Let me show you inside the unit real quick and then we can, we can wrap up this little shorty video. So it's got two little clippies at the bottom. Top can comes off. Let's take a look underneath. I don't even know. Yeah, there's your fan. So in the month that I've been using it, there's not a lot, but all this stuff would have been on my desk and that's not cool. So I've been using it as, you know, There's a lot of little metal shavings, which is great. All that black plastic stuff. I actually um, was drilling and deburring something using this as a little tabletop and I had it on. And normally you, you activate it by hitting the gun, but I actually hooked up a regulator to it and bled air, just a little bit of bleed, like five PSI or something, will activate the fan and cause it to spin. So I'm like, that's kind of cool. And then I would, I would drill on top of it and then it'd suck everything in or use our Dremel engraver. We've got a super fancy Dremel right now um, and let it suck all the garbage in there. And that's, that's working out really well too. So, okay. So the one thing that I haven't set up like super properly yet is the airline to it. This is the only length of like decent sized airline that we have. Um, I need to buy more airline obviously, but so I'm just powering the whole thing with this little quarter inch push lock hose. Uh, which does not provide a lot of airflow. And I feel it in the gun too. The gun's not spraying as much as like a 3 8 rubber hose does. So I'm probably uh, limiting and underpowering the performance, the suction of this thing. Um, but it works, it works fine. It'll probably just, it'll probably suck more once we give it more air. And I might actually like it more at that point. So uh, point is I'm really starting to get addicted to dust filtration, um, chip filtration, like, cool infiltrate like all kinds of filtration mist fits everywhere in every machine and I'm really liking uh, cleanliness and this is just another step in the right direction for that so I'm really glad that I bought it um, just trying to figure out how to utilize it best and if I want more of them or if we need another solution some electric thing whatever build my table um, working on it but uh, but yeah I just wanted to show you guys because it's kind of cool and I like it and it's great technology with Hit, hit the gun, fan turns on, stays on for a couple seconds. It does work really well. And I think this setup that I'm using right now is maybe not the most optimal use for it. Uh, but right beside a machine probably is the most optimal use. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. So yeah, just want to show you guys. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Later.